I, I want to dig in uh, to some of the more technical aspects of your show. And it sure seemed to me, correct me if I'm wrong, it seemed to me like you were playing with tracks, therefore playing with a click. It, it looked like, Carlo, you were kind of starting the click before every song or most songs. Uh, is it, Am I right about that before I go any farther? Yeah, we, we run we run a click and uh, backing tracks for all of our original material. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, it but it seemed like there were some moments where it was like not as scripted and, and, and not to a track. Is, is it a kind of a mix of both at times? Yeah, that's because we're so clever. Um, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, well, you know, listen, Dave, to me, two things are happening. Right. So we're either we're either on the click or uh, we uh, we lost it and I turned it off and we're just kind of free forming. So got it. <laughs> it's, it's hard to tell, but. There is a, a fair amount of um, wizardry going on with that, and uh, hopefully, we try to make it transparent to the audience. You know, yeah, so it didn't look like you were trying to hide anything. It, yeah, know? of course. Yeah. Oh no, no, I I thought it was great. I mean, it it was nice having sort of the the synth patches and and other things you know layered into the songs to to flesh things out and and really enhance the the musical aspect of it. Um, and 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 then me also just being like a musician and a nerd it was like all right what's going on here and i start paying attention and it's like ah oh, i see okay that guy he's the one he's driving the bus with, at least in terms of the click and uh it, you know it it was but like that's something as a band you need to learn how to do eric are you also hearing the click in your ears or carlo is it only you like how how does that work out Currently, it's only Carlo. Yeah, and actually, you mentioned uh, in ear monitors. I I don't you. I was not using in ears that night. Right, I right. Don't. But um, yeah, I do. I find actually, like in terms of interacting with the audience, which is a little harder in a room like Blue Ocean versus a smaller club. But um, I find having the in ears makes that a little harder, and I've had a hard time getting off. And Carlo's, you know, he's ready to fire me for not wearing them. But um, uh, so it's only Carlo hearing the tracks. And, Got it. And. Um, yeah, and so we will we will pick moments where we say, "All right, this is we're gonna we're dropping the track here, we're dropping the track here, we're bringing it back in," and that gives us an opportunity to be a little bit more freeform to interact, and um, you know to make it feel like it's not um, strictly um, you know by the machine, so to speak. Yeah. 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 So, so, and we've, it appears we've lost Carlo, um, it, perhaps a connection, connection or a timing issue. Uh, okay. So thank you to Carlo for, for spending his time with us. And I'm glad I got at least that question, uh, out before, <laughs> before we lost him. Uh, oh wait, he, he might be coming back. Okay. Um, but, uh, it, okay, so that's interesting. So you're all just staying in sync with with Carlo and and Carlo is back, uh, and and that's just how that goes. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. And we again, you know, we've done a lot of shows, with, whether cover shows or whatever, where we've done that, and so we've just grown accustomed to knowing when we're on and we're off, and we're largely following Carlo's lead on that, but knowing that it's coming. Yeah, right, right. And so Carlo, um, you can't believe you can't believe what happened. <laughs> Speaking of tech technical issues, I mean, I can't make this shit stuff up. <laughs> my, Edit. I was sitting in apparently too sunny of an area, and my phone overheated and oh. turned off. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It said your your iPhone is too hot to operate. It will resume once it has cooled down. Too hot to operate sounds like the title of your next EP. Oh, I like it that. It sounds one. like you know what it sounds like is my life. Too hot <laughs> to operate. <laughs> Um, so, okay. So I, like Carlo, you mentioned that you're being aware of, of the click in those moments. And if the band starts to drift too far off and you can't get everybody back, you just bail on the click and, and just play the song like a band. How, how long did it take you as a band until you, Carlo, were comfortable sort of managing that and trusting that everything was going to work most of the time? Well, you know, that, I guess it was a process. I mean, I, most of my career has been, um, non click related live sure. and, but, but, but as you know, all click related studio. So, you know, as a drummer, it's, it's not a, it's not a great issue, but when you right. are playing live, there are moments, especially given the dynamics of what Eric and, and, and Mark are doing up front where, Sometimes it doesn't lend itself to that opportunity. So we actually, there's a fair amount of time, background town, that goes into 
um, no, the, the whole band, I guess is what I should say, knows where they're supposed to be uh, in regards to using the click. So we don't, we don't stray too often. 